Welcome everyone. We're... Hey, hey. Well, this is one of my nightmares. Uh, my name is Sloan Kelly. My name is Jody Kelly. And my name is James Baker. How you doing? You okay? Uh, very claustrophobic. Good. Right, let's take our masks Jody, off. Jody, fix your hair. You need to fix your hair, by the way, a wee bit. <laughs> no, 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 that way. No. <laughs> you, look, you, look, you look like Ace Ventura. <laughs> <laughs> was like the white devil. <laughs> right, Jimmy, you trying now? Oh. Right. How are you doing? He's all right. Oh. Good. Prefer Good. Mother, here, actually. Uh, I'm yeah, still living that, that digital you. nomad life. Um, but uh, other than that, and, and Good. James, you're, like in a borrowed, you're in a borrowed kitchen. I am. Like. Yes, I've got a really spooky setup. I've got like. Googly eyeballs that light up. Blowing balls. I've got some. Mm -hmm. I've got a red background here. Uh, I've got some orange lights in the background. So I've made a real effort here, Jody. What uh -huh. uh, you, your studio <laughs> looks really yeah. not very spooky. Yeah, and my wife did all that. That's my kitchen. Uh, yeah. I know. <laughs> Need words with her later. Show us your pumpkin, Jody. Well, she gave me this. True, that's true. And and I've got. Oh, a yeah. <laughs> did you get your you seventh foot? Yeah. Did you get did your you seven foot? Oh no, I didn't. No, no. I made. I made zero effort. I, I, I'll. I'll just show this then. Uh, does anybody recognise oh, this? Wrong podcast. Wrong podcast. That's not <laughs> also, I've got a Michael Jackson's Thriller T-shirt on. I've got my thing. Uh, okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. Happy Halloween, everybody. Yes, indeed. Happy Halloween. Happy Cal Halloween. My California uh, adventure. Um, t shirt, you've made that zero effort. That's you've what all the films all I made. That's what all the films have made. I have made zero effort in this podcast. Well, I the fact I've decorated the, the, the border. I know James looks as if I he's think, made a massive effort. I actually <laughs> think me and Evelyn have done a great job here. Well done. So, just, well just, done. just so everyone knows, by the way, I've actually at the last minute dropped on uh Jody. Can I come around and do the podcast at your bit? And I come around and Jody. Jody's wife Evelyn just made all this effort to make me look great and Jody look I rubbish. I know. <laughs> spooky. Very spooky. Right, we're gonna right. So it's five films that fit even Freddy Krueger would uh fear. Now I tried so you know how we were talking on the podcast about um generating AI. I said, could you get could you generate a picture of Freddy Cougar watching five horror movies on television? Which of course is what is on the bottom corner there. Yeah. Wouldn't let me. So what <laughs> I said was, can you generate an image of a man wearing a red and white, red and black striped top with a fedora hat watching five horror movies? Went, yeah, sure, mate, no problem. Wow. <laughs> so Beat the system. Ta-da. Hacking the AI. Yeah. So uh, shall we? Shall we crack on? So we're going to do Jody first. By the way, it's a, it was a tough one just to pick five because probably Nightmare on Elm Street would have been in my top ten, but but we're only yeah. picking five. So that's true. Yeah. Um, my first choice is The Shining from way uh -huh. back in nineteen eighty one. I'm uh, mm -hmm. I'm thinking uh, Stanley Kubrick Kubrick classic. Stephen King famously hated the the movie version. And then it was remade um, as a TV series, I think, as well, which is closer to the book. Uh, but this this version is a total Stonewall classic, creepy, haunted house type thing. But my my idea behind my choices were actually I was I, originally I was going to go for a haunted house, a psychological horror, a slasher. Um, can't remember what else sci-fi horror you know kind of whatever else but i ended up not sticking to that but this is a classic uh, horror movie um scary twins classic uh kubrick -isms, you know the the kind of one point perspective shots um brilliantly recreated as well in uh ready player one mm -hmm. everybody remembers that as well yeah that's right yeah yeah absolutely terrific uh steven spielberg Recreated uh, kind of the, the the set from The Shining. Mm. Um, yeah, absolute classic. And I still find it creepy to do this this day. This one. 
Whereas I watched a film recently, Insidious, and it was not creepy at all. For some reason, James not is not on the thing for Sloan. Yeah, I know. Uh, I don't know where he's gone. He's he's fallen oh. off. The... Oh, so I don't know. But we'll we'll play on. We'll play on. We've lost James. Hopefully, yeah. Freddy's not got him. That's true. Maybe that's what happened. It was just all of a sudden Freddy just came out of the nightmares. That'd be a terrible way to end the things. Yeah. Um, has your cat knocked him off? No. No, no. Is no. he just oh, not on the call? Oh. I don't know why. Um, so number two, um, the Devil's Backbone, which is William the Bills, uh, one of my favourite directors. You, Guillermo, Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro, Willie the Bull. Mm -hmm. um, directed one of his first movies after his, well second movie I think his first one was Kronos um, mm -hmm. this is his second that's right movie. yeah there that was, that was a, a, a colon movie wasn't it it was like Kronos something of power time or something was uh, it? it was like it, it was like a kind of um, kind of vampire I remember mm -hmm. or am I thinking of the TV series he did anyway this is his second film um, a Spanish speaking film um, mm -hmm. set in a wee kids orphanage and it's a real creepy it's a real real simple story very creepy the special effects in this one are terrific mm -hmm. um the way that the the ghosts are done are done in a kind of almost as if they're kind of underwater so everything's like flowing you know oh, okay um, and really eerie looking um very creepy very scary it's another kind of haunted house-esque type story you know but very mm -hmm. sad as well um just when you find out exactly what's what's what in this one very compelling yeah have you seen the, this one i have not seen this one no no, no. this is a uh, eluded me this one uh, uh, it's really good so this is made quite this is quite an old one as well yeah i'm not sure what year early 2000s i would imagine mm -hmm. yeah something like that yeah cool um next um, number three, Stonewall Classic, still brilliant today. I watched it Absolutely. A, few, a few weeks ago. I watched this one, mm -hmm. and it still ha still stands up yeah. um, today. It's a wee bit dated, act you know. The acting's a wee bit dated, maybe now. But um, although Anthony Hopkins acting, in it's not that dated. It's very natural uh, for the time, mm -hmm. um, and it, it really stands out compared to the other actors in this because they do. They are kind of dated the way they're acting um but um yeah james is back he's back we thought you were murdered there by um i don't know for a minute we thought you were gonna get picked off one by one halfway no through. i just um <laughs> i picked off one by one i like it yeah, well, no, you... I, just, I hear that you know the you know you get the tv show uh monsters Yes. Uh -huh. you know, they've got the Mendes, yeah. the Menendez brothers is the latest one, but it was Jeffrey yeah. Dammer the first one. Well the third season is about the ins the people the story that was inspired. Ed Gein. Oh Ed for Gein. Psycho I. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was yes, so it is. Uh, Hitchcock had read that story and that inspired mm -hmm. him to do yeah, Psycho. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'll be so good just, actually. Ah uh, yeah, yeah. Mother, look what you've done. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, and this was remade as well with uh, Vince Vaughn. And the, Vince the, Vaughn, yeah. And the, shot for and shot, was it not? Was it a shot, shot for shot, shot remake? Yeah, uh, Gus Van Sant directed it, I think. Um, the Twister guy? Gus oh, Van Sant. Um, oh, Gus Van Sant was um, Good Will Hunting, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, him. Uh -huh. yeah. Aye. Um, and obviously the, the great Janet Lee, the, oh. the original OG <laughs> Scream <laughs> Queen. Yeah, she was the, the yeah. mother of uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. That's correct. Sorry. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 Tony and, and Jamie. Uh, Tony and uh, Vivian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, brilliant film. And I, I was just saying there, I'd, I'd watched it again. Janet uh, Lee, not Vivian Lee. Vivian Lee. Oh, was, sorry. Um, <laughs> Janet. Janet. <laughs> it's actually written there as well. <laughs> I used to wear my glasses. <laughs> Do you want here? Is that better? <laughs> <laughs> the worker man oh wow another, another one they've remade actually um this Not is the beans. original this is the original um with, with the equalizer uh, the equalizer 
Edward Woodward. Why, did, why, why does Edward Woodward have uh, so many D's in his name? Because if he doesn't be Iwa Wuwa. Where's your dinger? I thought you had your dinger back. Doesn't seem to work in Scotland, your dinger. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's quite uh, far away, though. Anyway, this is another movie I've, I've, I've seen recently as well, for some reason. Um, um, this, uh, see, when you watch this film, the unease and weirdness in this movie is unparalleled. There's no, nothing like it. And, you know, there's nothing really horrific in it. There's just a real sense of unease. unease. Um, and the League of Gentlemen and Inside Number Nine and Psychoville, the guys that do, wrote those shows kind of picked up on that and they've, they've kind of mm. used it for their shows, that kind of unease, you know, a, a, a guy coming into the town and <clears throat> strange things are, you know, strange rituals and and uh, yeah. a different way of life to what he's used to. And there's been a murder. Um, a, a child's been murdered. Um, uh, and it's it's actually a musical, really, as well, because <laughs> the, the amount of... The, the, I'm not... See, when you watch this film, the amount of song and dance uh, songs in it and dance uh, routines and things in it, it's such a strange, odd film. It really is good, and I, I love how it's so un, un, unnerving. And uh, the end, obviously, is the, the kind of the big shock factor. So when I when I think of uh, of the Wicker Man, I always think like, in, in especially the the poster for it is very <laughs> midsummer. Yeah, yeah. midsummer. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> that that definitely took big um, loads of inspiration. Inspiration, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. And obviously, Hot Fuzz as well. Hot Fuzz, yes. yep. Uh -huh. Correct. Yeah, I forgot that was Absolutely. that kind of movie. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yep, yep. But I've um, only seen the, the Wicker Man a handful of times, and I, and you're right, it's totally unsettling. Really, really is. It really is, yeah. and it still stands up. Another one that really still stands up. I, mm. I've seen the Nick Cage one. I love Nick Cage, but it's not the bees. It's not great. Aye, the, 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 it, it's not been reined in. And and just yeah. the just the, the way they did it wasn't wasn't good. I haven't I haven't seen the, the Nick Cage one as well. Is that I take it that's not set in in Scotland no, somewhere. It's set no, it's an island in somewhere Maine, in America. Probably. Oh, yeah, of, okay. Like yeah. it's still still a wee island, but it's in America. Mm -hmm. right. It's not in Scotland. Right, cool. And then your your final pick. My final pick, The Exorcist, which is pretty much unwatchable. <laughs> I think it's, it's, Aye. It's, Aye. So, it's really, really, you only need to see it once and then go, I'm not mm. watching that again. I yeah. actually feel that it's probably the only movie in this list that, or anybody's list tonight that that actually feels as if it is wrong and, Aye. you know, it's un kind of otherworldly in a devilish proper anti-religion and devilish sense mm -hmm. you know I, I really it's not a film i could really watch multiple times mm -hmm. because it feels really wrong i would say a right wrong yeah. in, in, so right ways, in so many ways in so many ways yeah, um, I'll, I'll be honest. With you, I've, ne I've never watched The Exorcist, and I've got no intention. It's been deliberate. I just yeah, have no intention of watching it. <laughs> just and it's. I remember when it when it when it came out. I mean, I'm sure it was banned initially. Yeah. But when I was walking, yeah. in, I was in Morrison's tonight, and as I was walking around, I turned around, and they had at their Halloween display for sale the Exorcist T-shirts, and it just shows you really? how far we've come. You know, over. 30, no. 40, 50 years where it's just mm. nah, we're selling it. It's just t-shirts in Morrison's. Nah, you shouldn't be wearing that. No chance. No. Um, no. It's, I have uh, no interest in seeing it. It's really eerie. More than eerie. And and just the certain scenes in it as well are just so wrong. I, I, I love uh, horror, but I don't need to feel that bad. No. 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 Yeah. It's, so, yeah, it's pretty bad. Because we, we saw worthy of being up here. It's the majority. What's that? We saw it when we were kids, like eight oh, yeah. nine. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've read the book actually as well, <laughs> um, which is 
you know, horrific as well. William Peter Blatty uh, book. <laughs> um, it just gets everything right, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, you know, and the the, the mic, just the mixture of imagery, the little the, the little girl in it, um, mm. and the the kind of slow build up as well uh, to her actually getting possessed is just brilliantly done, and the director the way the the, the way that you got some of the action the, some of the reactions out of the actors <laughs> was brilliant because of the famous. Uh, the famous thing was um, he slapped one of the priests um, before he, he gave the line because they tried to tried to get him to give this line about ten times, and he wanted him to be more emotional. So the the final time that he, he was about to do it, he slapped him in the face without any kind of just completely out of the blue, and then went right, do it now. <laughs> and he was like, I never knew that. He was like tearing that. up, and like <laughs> it's like angry at everything. But it worked, you know. So it's a hell of a way of uh, being a director, that. But anyway, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Doesn't work for everybody. Good show. See, a lot of your films, a lot of your films, I, I'm, I, I've either not seen, not a lot of them, but if you look at the top five, I, I, I either haven't seen them, or you don't want seen it? them very, very <laughs> few times, or not. You know, yeah. this one, I've got not, I've. I've got no interest because I know I will be so scared, <laughs> scared mm. of it. Yeah. You know? Oh, I hear you because because I I don't watch horror movies at all. Like, it's not a thing that I I, I go out more. You know, things well. Like, I'll just watch Hereditary. That sounds like a nice piece <laughs> Saturday night. Oh movie my god! No thanks. It's like no, no. I'm watching. Yeah, I'm I watching do. I like Run or, I, I, like, know, I like a horror. Yeah. I skyscraper or something. Yeah. Something I, stupid. I, 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 I like a horror, but I don't like a horror as well. Especially the first time, you know, you don't know what's what's. Ah, the first the time's the worst, also uh -huh. the best. But uh -huh. the second and the third time, they're actually good fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, James, your list. Yes, yes, indeed. Oh yes. So, have you guys seen us? I have. No, it is a great movie. It's a great horror movie. I'm a big fan of Jordan Peele. Cannot wait for his next next one to come out. But I think this one, like if you come into my house, my display is all four characters from us, like in Funko Pop. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, and it's, I don't know, if you've seen it, I, I just wouldn't want to talk about it too much to spoil it, but it's so massively unsettling but also it gives you a breather and i like that about horror films i don't need that absolute sustained dread i need yeah. you know we all need a wee bit of time to breathe in these movies and it gives you that there's a little bit of a laugh and a little bit of a joke but it's not a comedy but you're just like oh my god like i needed to come up from yeah, yeah, yeah. like for air a wee bit and right okay right i'm ready to go back into it but even in some of the most horrific scenes there is some little lifeline of comedy just a tiny wee bit just like yeah this is absolutely dreadfully horrific um but here's just a wee lifeline we'll just give you a wee hand to get through it a great great premise yeah. really good movie jordan peele i think it's i think it's his best i think it's his best i do best i do like this one um yeah. do you know do you know the, th the good thing about these there's a kind of modern kind of um horror now and it's like stuff that could really ha happen in real life you know it's like you know you could have a, a family stood outside your house you know at night time yeah, doppelgangers a full, a full family <laughs> stood outside even even just not even your doppelgangers would be frightening but like five five people at, like the simpsons you know stood outside know. Your fa you know, know. As, a, as a family in your garden you'd be like know. what the heck you know, it's just eerie. It's unsettling. Cracking, cracking, cracking horror movie. Like properly, yeah, like watch good, it the first, watch it, the, watch it the first time, and it's it's you really are unsettled. But then watch it the second, third, and fourth time, and all five movies. This is one of the main reasons I picked them because obviously they're they're horror, but because they're my five favorite, I could go home and watch all of them again tonight multiple times and i think that's the definition for me of 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 your, your favorites or what your top top ones are and i could go home and watch this two or three more times easily right now cracking movie well made 
right. And Jury's uh, obviously upset with you about that. So he's uh, he's. He left must the, be. He's off. He's left the call. Um, he's bringing up back there. All right. Um, next one up is Shaun of the Dead. I'm only kidding. Dawn of the Dead. <laughs> Dawn of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead. So this is the uh, this is the remake. I'm sure it's 2004. It was remade, um, obviously the original being, this, I can't remember what, uh, when the original one, the 70s, George Romero. Yeah, the coming um, Was it, sorry? No, that no, was the Night of the Dead, wasn't it? Like, well, you've got Night of the Living Dead, which was this, the Dead, late yeah. 60s, 68, 69, yeah. and then you've got mm -hmm. Dawn of the Dead, and you've got Day of the Dead, which is his original trilogy. Mm -hmm. So this is the remake. It's the, I would say, fairly famous kind of, um the whole world has gone to hell and the zombies you know the dead are basically coming back to life and uh we're seeking refuge in this shopping shopping mall mm -hmm. and whilst the original is great uh i just think this is a much better much more enjoyable much more enjoyable version hold on a second we've got someone coming in here i like the uh is jody, <laughs> is jody, jody coming in from the dark <laughs> oh there he is there oh no um, I, I like the I I actually like the original one of this. Uh, I haven't seen that. This is the Zack Snyder one, isn't it? Zack Snyder, yeah. Yeah. So I haven't seen this one, but I I really enjoyed the the um, the original one. Uh, in fact, I I got a a game because it was exactly that from Capcom. I can't remember <laughs> what it was called. No, um, but it was basically like a zombie horror survival type game where you were you were in a like a uh, a shopping mall and you had to use the sort of bits of the shopping mall to sort of protect yourself uh -huh. uh, and it was kind of based on dawn of the dead it was a great game as well so i, I think it's, i think comment below i think this is um zach snyder at his best honestly i think he uh, was experiment with slow motion and um experiment with slow motion on this movie mm -hmm. uh, and i think just now he's kind of you can just do as much slow motion as you want, whereas I think he was maybe restricted a bit more by the studio. Yeah. Really, really well-made film. Lots of cool music in it. Um, Johnny Cash, uh, really good uh, as the opening credits. Um, a great storyline, loads of cool jump scares, really good sound effects, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, special effects. I don't know uh, what happened there, but I, for some reason I, I came off flying. don't know what happened. Um, oh, there was some guy who just walked in here, by the way. Just uh, never. Yeah, did you see him? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. You're joking. You might have passed by the <laughs> so, and, yeah. and I know for a fact. I mean, it's not a long movie. I think this is, must be hour, hour and forty. Um, and there's a redemption so, story in it. There's loads of action. Really good set pieces in it. Um, so, so, how come you? Uh, pick, how come you picked that? Have you maybe explained this already? But how come you picked that compared to the original? So I've picked I've a few a few of the ones I've picked tonight uh, are the remakes uh -huh. over the original yeah. and I that's because you've only got to pick five, uh -huh. but I'm talking and I love all the originals I really really do but I'm talking about if I'm picking my five favorite ones it's ones I can go home and watch right now, uh, ones mm -hmm. I can go home and watch with my family which whenever we do like a you know your top five movies or did you enjoy this movie, yeah. watching it with my family with popcorn and beer that affects it and i know i could go home and watch us with them right now mm -hmm. dawn of the dead with them on everything else on this list with yeah. with my family drinking beer eating popcorn and having like a good proper having a good time being scared Scare off yeah. so yeah so that's why that's why it's up there and if you've not seen it it's a blast nice one a cracking yep. movie nice nice oh man gets me every time what a beautiful, beautiful, amazing film. And I think my love... What a poster, by the way. I know. Mm. Absolutely amazing. My absolute like love affair with this film just happened when I was a kid. When I yeah. just... You know, you used to rent the, the, the videos from yeah. Azad Video or, or whatever. Yes. And I remember just seeing a trailer for it and just being absolutely petrified of the trailer. Yeah. And just thinking, I have to see this film. Yeah. I have yeah. to see it. So and it's I would I would go as far as to say it's it is a sci-fi horror, you know it's 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 definitely a sci-fi horror and I didn't understand why I loved it so much and like when I watched when I watched it when I was really really young, um, but the, the, this is a, is outstanding up there with with Alien 
you know. Um, oh, yeah. But I picked, I picked this over Alien. It actually says that it says they are the ultimate in Alien terror, and, and I wonder that because this came out after Alien, and I wonder if they did uh, that to to kind of maybe like riding the coattails of of Alien. Ah, uh, uh, right. I actually, okay. don't think so because um, it's, it's obviously this is a remake of an it's old a remake, movie yeah. for a kickoff, uh-huh. but. Um, 1982 it came out. Yeah, this is more of this is more of a kind of it's almost like a who done it, uh, and it's also a, a sort of yeah. um, psychological horror as well, I as know. well as the gore. You know, it's which that. totally stands up, doesn't it? The, the special it's effects in this. Totally, totally. You see that whole thing, that whole who done it thing you're talking about, Jody. Yeah, it's so so good. It's so great, it's isn't it? So great, and if you've not seen it, I mean, it's hard. I'm, I could gush over this film so much. Yeah, just I, I think my favorite as a kid was Childs. Is it Childs was his name or Childs? Yeah. yeah. So oh, Kurt yeah. Russell's uh, the guy who played opposite. I don't know. I just thought the whole thing and all those old school seventies, eighties helicopters that were used. Oh yeah, they were just so chunky and eighties. It was just it great. Ter- it looks terrific. This film as well. Obviously, it was done in film, so. Um, mm. There's something about that that just looks so you know the the opening scene with the, the helicopter and the dog yeah. and all that stuff. Um, even the the the, re, the it wasn't a remake, but they did a prequel, didn't they? It was the the. That's meant to be all right. The, I've not watched it. To be fair, it is, is that the one called "What the Hell's That"? It's called a hang. The hang. The hang. Hang me. Hang me. I that's a, I've only seen it once, but it was it was very good as well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. absolutely up there with the best of them. Fantastic. And I could go home and watch that right now, and that's yeah. you know that's a huge thing. Huge Watched thing. it not that long ago. It is super, absolutely super. So I'm sure you've got the uh, you've got the Kurt Russell actor. R. J. McCready. Yep, he does. Yep. What, does what's his name? Helicopter pilot. R. J. McCready. He does <laughs> with his wee bottle of uh, B and his uh, shotgun and yep. his, his hat and his cool sunglasses as well. He looks very cool. That we yeah, that yeah, we figure looks, very cool. looks yeah, dead yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah. So. Have you seen um, <clears throat> Adam Savage has got a uh, he does you know he does the the um, he goes to comic cons and he goes in disguise but dressed up as something mm-hmm. and he went as R J McCready one year. Uh, no way, I've not seen that. More like kind of stuff, yeah. Yeah, it's really good. That's good. Cool. That's me. Five stars. Number four. That was the, that looks like the bloke that came in earlier on. No, that was not a bloke that came in. The bloke that came in earlier on was from the seventies. Whereas I was saying, it looks like the bloke that came in from that. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah. See it now. This is the the two oh, thousand and eighteen. That's the new. One. This is the old one. That's the original. So the yeah. original was based on William Shat. Is it William Shatner's face? Uh, was it? Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep, Defo. So, so so creepy looking man. By the way, I couldn't have that in my house. This is James's, <sighs> by the way. So good, so good. Have so, have you guys seen this? You guys seen two thousand and eighteen? Uh, no, the remake? No, I don't think I've seen any of the remakes apart from the last one. Um, uh, probably not bit, the best it was one. a bit goofy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I uh, saw it up until Halloween 3. Eight more days to Halloween. 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 Oh, did I see this one? Silver yeah. Shamrock. Silver Shamrock, yeah. Was that the third one, the goofy one? Was that the fourth one? Uh, the third one's pretty goofy. Okay, the third so one's, what are we talking about? You were talking about the third and the, the fourth. New, the remakes, <clears throat> sorry. The remakes. All right, okay. The third one went a bit skew if. But see, as a Halloween movie, it's all right. I, I, I mean, like a, a, a movie that you could watch at Halloween, but mm-hmm. as a a John Carpenter in, like kind of continuation of this story, not such a great. Um, however, it gets a bit difficult because there was the three originals. Um, third one wasn't directed by John Carpenter. Then I don't, I don't think the third one really the, didn't did it with Mike Myers either. No, it doesn't actually. Just the right, it didn't. Um, then the the, um, the the Rob Zombie movies. No, there was other ones after that. There was like there was one, and then the ones after that. Is that right? No, the Rob Zombie movies were after that. So you've got you've got Halloween one, two, which were both John Carpenter. Then you've got three, yep. which had nothing to do with Michael Myers, and I was yep. horrified at that. That was good. Uh, that was the Silver Shamrock. 
and yeah. then yeah. you have number four. There was one that was kind of set as a reality TV show, and it was Buster Rhymes was in it, and they were all kind uh, of picked off. But it was kind of like aliens, so everyone had a camera. And there was a Freddy you know, versus were, Jason. Oh no, not Freddy. But the Jason. No, Freddy versus Jason. Not not to do with Michael. Sorry, they never touched. Was there, was there a Michael versus MD? No, no. Nah. No. Yeah, no, there was, was a, just the Freddy. Uh, was it the, the no? Jason there was Michael Freddy never versed. Michael never versed anyone. Did he not? Mm. Unless it was your own fan fiction. There was H twenty. There was H two O. There was H two O. The twentieth anniversary. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, which was a proper nineties. So, what was uh, LL the first reboot? Cool, cool J was in Aye. that one. So, what was the first reboot then? The Rob Zombie ones. The first reboot was a Rob Zombie. That was after uh, Jamie Lee Curtis came back for H two O. Uh huh. Uh, and the first reboot was absolutely full and brutal. Just like there was no joy in it at all. And I'm not saying any of these films do have joy, but actually, there's even in these remakes, there's a little bit of joy. Uh, who is who plays? Oh, who's the guy with the beard? American, always got a mullet. Uh, is it Danny McBride? Is that one? Hulk Hogan. No, wrong guy. Wrong American. Who's Kenny uh, Powers? Who's Kenny Powers? Danny McBride. Kenny Powers. Kenny Powers is a TV show. Kenny, uh, Danny. Uh, Kenny oh yeah, is he's burning down? Yeah, it's Danny he's McBride. burning down. That's yeah. it. He he yeah. is involved in this stuff. He even though he's like in, in a comedy, he became involved in uh, Alien, uh, Pr like Prometheus and oh, okay. Re uh, oh, I can't remember the second, name of the second one, but also he was involved in these three remakes. Uh, so he's got comedy chops, but also he's got some horror chops as well. Ah, yes, yeah, so, uh, yeah. But see, getting back to this actual movie, it's yeah. it's a cracking movie and a really great. Um, this is a continuation of like from Halloween I, I, too. Aye, so this is a proper. So a these, proper, these these ones. This isn't are a reboot. By Rob Zombie, yeah. These no, these aren't are, by these aren't by Rob Zombie. These are Danny McBride's. And, and I don't know why, what they are. Aye, and that's why Jamie Lee Curtis on on these ones. She came back, uh, yeah. So yeah, they've basically yeah. forgotten. If you're looking at the actual proper lore, they've forgotten. Uh, they've just wiped uh, away Halloween three, four, five, and I think uh -huh. maybe there was a six, and they've wiped away the Rob Zombie yeah. duology. And they've just basically it was Halloween one, Halloween two, and then it's these three, and they're yeah. all proper in the, in the universe. Right. But honestly, a cracking film if you want to be like scared at your wits um, with a couple of breathers, uh, with this big. You know, Goliath coming around just stabbing folk. We watch horror films like folk watch football. Like, yeah. we're just like waiting for the best kills, <laughs> just waiting for the jump scares, drinking beer, having hot dogs, and having a great time. And if you want to have a right good scare and then just kind of forget about it afterwards, I couldn't recommend this highly enough. A cracking movie. And I'm not saying the originals aren't, but I just, I love the originals, but I, I, I couldn't go home and watch this with my fam. Uh, the mm -hmm. 1978 original with my family. I could go home and watch this with them. Do you think, do you think those movies are too old then, too dated for them to watch? Too old, too dated, and I think they're like they would have to. Uh, no disrespect them, they would have to like mature <laughs> in the cinema a lot more uh, and be able <laughs> to become a little bit more like you know cinephiles. In order to appreciate uh, yeah. the proper old schoolness of it, yeah, I know. I think that maybe the the hammy acting in the originals, maybe a little bit, and the kind of teenage, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, in the first wrong with a bit of pantomime. Aye, uh, I know. So, but I do, I do love all those movies just, as well, yeah. a lot, yeah. a lot. So, but anyway, I, another another high recommend. So. Nice one. Cool. Nice. And then your last movie. So. I seen this the other night at the, at the cinema. I went with Faith and Heidi. Hot dogs, popcorn, shat it all the way through, but also had a lot of fun. Gave me a little bit of time for a breather. Uh, what's her name? What is what is her name? Naomi Scott. Uh, yep. Is that uh, Naomi yes, Scott? I think it is. Yeah. She yeah. is in every scene, and in every scene, she uh -huh. is stressed out of a box. Yeah. Like <laughs> what an actor. Like yeah. I don't know why horror movies don't get nominated for oscars because it's 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 i thought she was brilliant this this is a classy movie i've not seen the first one actually I, you don't really need to see it but i you think don't? if you did no, see it no. i think if you did see it, it might help but i have never been so joyfully scared in all my life i was right. like in the cinema oh 
Like constantly, like they got me really good ten times. Do you not know, you know think as well? Sorry, James. Go um, on. Do you not know think as well? It taps into like what I was saying earlier on. These movies tap into real fears, like you know, like panic attacks, or you know that kind of that type of um, social anxiety. Yes, you know, yes, they do. Taps into all that kind of stuff, but in a oh. it ramps it up and it and makes it into this horrific story and jump scares and you know all that stuff. Um, and you can so, really feel it's really well made, really, really well made. Expert. I nearly put this on my list as well. <laughs> I, it is an expertly made movie uh -huh. because I had a blast. The imagery, I was, I was unsettled. <laughs> They gave me a bit of time to breathe, and then it was just like, we're going back in. Are you ready? Yeah, Let's go. Yeah. And it was just, I I mean, there's there's a scene in it. This has got nothing to do with the, the story plot or anything like that, right? But there's a scene in it, and I'll not even explain the full thing. But you think she's safe, and she's in her own kind of apartment, right? And then all of a sudden she hears a noise, as you would in these types of films. And they alluded to this guy, Alfredo, at the beginning. And he was just a like she's meant to be a pop singer. Like a, I think she, she her character is inspired by Lady Gaga. Yeah. Okay. So she's doing a meet and greet to all these people, and this just weird, weird fan comes up, and he's got lesions on him, and he's just it's a little bit pussy and stuff, and she's got to go like she can't discriminate, and it's and he's just like I'm your biggest uh, fan, yeah. and eventually he's too much, and he has to get huckled off. And he's screaming, ah, I'm your biggest fan. And he, she signs this very specific T-shirt and he takes the T-shirt away while he gets, as a security, huckle him off. So later on, he, she thinks she's safe in her apartment. And then she walks up this, because she's incredibly rich, she has this really nice corridor leading to her bathroom, but it's got all these mirrors there on it. And she's mm -hmm. creeping around and the lights are off. And you can see this T-shirt that she signed and you've seen like um, the guy's trousers, then the guy's belt, and his socks and shoes, then you see his skid mark pants right at the end of the corridor. And then she looks up and it's dark, but you can still see. And Alfredo's standing there with nothing on, like, <sighs> and we're all like, ah, ah, and you know what's coming. And then he just gave you a jump scare, and I'm just like, ah, and the whole cinema was like, ah. <laughs> So absolutely shat it, but I was oh, also like this. Brilliant. Yes! Oh, it's great. I could, oh, absolutely brilliant. Awesome. Cracking movie. Go awesome. on, Norway, Scott. It's a, it's a modern classic, I reckon. Aye, totally. Yeah, I need totally. to see the first one, so I'm not saying I, I, I think I, I would actually watch them back to back, you know, yeah. and, and yeah. I'd be a bit disturbed at the end of it. It's probably the most disturbing out of all the ones. Yeah, that I've recommended, but this is probably as bad as disturbing as I, as I will go. But it's yeah. such a blast. Yeah, yeah, definitely, totally agree. So there we go. I'm done. Cool. Uh, well, I'm I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this was a fairly tough assignment for me because uh, horror movies just could be Halloween. Sure, could be Halloween. Uh, let me hear you. Haunted Mansion. Uh, Haunted Mansion. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Haunted Mansion. What was it? Could be Halloween. Hotel Transylvania. Uh, Hotel exactly. Transylvania. No, no, the second one's better than the first one. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Corpse all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Mickey's, <laughs> Mickey's spooky Mickey's Halloween. <laughs> so anyway, in at number Corporate. one uh, is this this little beauty. I don't know if you guys... What? Jody, do you remember hearing about the Absolutely, of this I remember this, yeah. Um, yeah. This, this movie gave me a lifelong fear of ventriloquist dummies. I think this is a great film, a great pick, by the way. So this, I have to say. This, by the way, honestly. No, nah, never heard of it. Didn't know it existed. So, Anthony Hopkins plays a guy called Corky, who is a failed magician. Mm -hmm. And somebody, I think somebody suggests to him, he says, Why don't you get a ventriloquist in your act? It'll brighten things up. Downhill yeah. from there. Just downhill from there. Bad choice. Do not get an inanimate object that looks like a human. Yeah, he basically. It's just, it's horrible. He basically but starts anyway, thinking it's talking to him and telling him to yeah. do things, and it's brilliant. So the, the dummy's called Fats, and <laughs> Fats is a, a few ideas about the world and how uh, Corky doesn't quite fit into the world yeah. and how he could rectify those those things. Mm -hmm. And so it goes on from there. But there's bits in it where you 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 see the dummy kind of moving, like kind of Mr. Mm -hmm. Marble style, mm -hmm. like, and you're going like, "Is the dummy alive? Mm -hmm. Is the dummy alive?" Mm -hmm. And you and you don't know if it's just him doing it, and yeah. it's just oh, just it just it's really your good. mind. Yeah, it's terrifying. 
And there's a bit at the end, and there's this, there's this bit in it at the end where, and maybe I'm misremembering it, but there's a bit in it where Anthony Hopkins' face comes out of the darkness and then goes back into the darkness, and then Bat's face comes out of the darkness and then back into the darkness. Uh, and uh, it's like, I don't like it. Um, Mommy! Anyway, exactly, yeah. Mommy. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, the, 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 the dummy's got a knife at one point as well. Yeah. Um, it's quite Hitchcocky, actually. Knife. It is, yeah, it is. You know, a yeah. little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, that's, pick. that's my Good first pick. First pick um, uh, Anthony Hopkins, who's one of my favourite actors of all time ever, even though he did play Jimmy the Robot. Uh, he's still... <laughs> it's the best bit in dented. it. He is it's the best bit in it. Um, uh, he still hasn't uh, dented that um, love of that actor for me. Um, next one. Um, Poltergeist. Um, yeah. This is... This is the a, a crazy movie that went through like not development hell, but just kind of there was. It's a brilliant movie, and everyone did so well in it. The director did it brilliantly. Um, uh, the guy that was supposed to direct it, Steven Spielberg, he couldn't do it because he was contractually obliged to not do it. Because I think it's, I think this is through Columbia Pictures, and he was with Universal at the time, or. Whatever the reason is, he wasn't allowed to do it. But apparently, he was there on set every single day yeah. um, with uh, Todd Phillips, and uh, and they basically like kind of co-directed to it, so to, to speak. Toby Hooper was it not? Toby Hooper, sorry. Aye, sorry. Aye. Toby aye. Hooper. I was going to say Todd Phillips. Wow, well, Todd Phillips. He's aged well. Toby Hooper. Toby Hooper. Sorry, <laughs> but you, you can see Spielberg's fingerprints all over it. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, you really yeah. can. It also makes Stranger Things, doesn't it? I yeah, I mean, things, this is, yeah, I mean, the Duffer, Duffer, Duffer Brothers, they, they ripped this off heavily as they well. They ripped off the whole of the 80s, you know, well, all these yeah, kind of movies, uh -huh. didn't yeah, they? Yeah, E.T. as well, uh, uh, Dungeons uh, and Dragons, Goonies, that kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah, Goonies as well. Mm -hmm. This one, um, uh, this Pull Up Guys in Amityville were two just like, I can't sleep, Mum. Like, can I sleep in your bed, please? Aye, but aye, I want to watch yeah. this, but I'm definitely not sleeping by myself. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I know, I know. There was uh, multiple horror, uh, Hammer horror movies I could have picked as well. Uh, By the way, uh, the um, so this takes place at, at Thanksgiving, I think. So there's there's uh, Monday night footballs on because there's a there's a fight at the start where uh, Craig T. Nelson, who goes on to play Mister Incredible, he fights with the the next door neighbor with a clicker because uh, his clicker turns off the TV for oh, yeah. the other clicker. Mm -hmm. And That's again, it's one of these. Thing. Yeah, it's another one of these kind of, it's the same kind of ties in with the, the magic thing where it's this inanimate objects thing, and that'll come back quite a lot in my list is inanimate objects. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a little bit of a theme there. Uh, and it obviously, the poltergeist, the ghosts sort of manipulate inanimate objects like chairs and, and, and uh, mirrors yeah. and things like that. And Insidious yeah. kind of ripped this off as well. Um, the little oh, did kid it? Goes into, well, the little kid goes into sort of dream state and you know they, they have to kind of and and insidious is in a coma but in the uh, poltergeist the wee girl actually goes into the tv doesn't she she actually disappears yeah. and comes out the tree i think that's her quote isn't it they're here yeah. that's yeah, what that's right. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and this was <laughs> remade as well not that long ago sam rockwell was the dad in the remake i love a bit um, of sam rockwell which i love yeah. sam rockwell um and it wasn't too bad. It wasn't bad. It wasn't as good as this one, though. No. Um, there was uh, another. There's another link as well. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure that the the daughter, the the older daughter. Yeah. Uh, she uh, was um, Dominic Dunn's daughter, who was. Part of the, the Menendez brothers, that trial is that, that trial? Oh, that was mentioned. Yeah, yeah. yeah that whole storyline yeah. was mentioned in, yeah, she uh, was, in Monsters. She was, she was murdered. She was she? murdered. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, as part nice. of that, so she was involved with that as well. So mm -hmm. nice little, um, well, not nice little, but um, a, a link there to something that happened recently. Um, number th number three. Funny you should mention Amityville. Um, uh -huh. but number three is my is, uh, oh. is Amityville Horror. Uh -huh. So this is um, Amityville, which is um, Long Island, I think, New York, somewhere there. Anyway, yeah. uh, it's set in um, my wife's favorite house style. 
he loves this house. Well, it's, the yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like a yeah, it's like a Dutch <laughs> uh, Dutch colonial thing. There's a no, there's, there's no. for the, that style of roof. Um, but yeah, I I can't look at it and without thinking of Amityville horror. It's nah. like, it's like, Can you no. live in a house like that? No way. No, 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 no. If you lived in a house so like that is... and started growing a beard, I'd be frightened. I know. Well, I shaved it off. <laughs> uh, so this is based on the Lutz family, which is a... Did you know this was based on a true story? Oh, God, yes. no, I did not. It is Your based on a true no. story, yeah. but it's all been debunked. It's now. all been debunked, just, but yeah. apparently apparently the family, um, they made it all up. I, I, yeah. Allegedly. I don't know. I don't know the full story, but they, they, it was based on a, full, a, a true story. Yeah. Uh, they moved into a house that um, a vicious murder had happened. This guy had killed his whole family. Yeah. And then they said, oh, there's poltergeists and stuff. And then they got like a priest in to do an exorcism and all that kind of stuff. But Yeah, but the crazy. dad did go crazy, though. And he, he, did, blamed yeah. On, yeah. he blamed it on but the demons. And the things. wife also thought that she started, he was starting to look like, well, that's what you mentioned about the growing a beard. He started to look like the guy who had done the murders. And that's why she's like, I'm out of here. Uh, Josh Brolin's dad's in it, James. Uh, he yep. plays he plays uh, Mr. Lutz. Uh, and Margot Robbie, Lois Lane herself, she plays Mrs. Lutz. Uh, Margot Kidder. Mar 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 we we Margot. Yes. Margot, Margot Kidder, Robbie. Kidder, like, Margot wow, Robbie. She's also his yeah, name's all wrong. I, I never picked up on that. You said Margot <laughs> Robbie. <laughs> Margot Still Kidder. Like it. Yeah. Still like it. Uh, very Margot. young Margot Robbie. <laughs> A no. very, very young Margot Robbie. So young, oh, it's Margot Kidder in this? I didn't realize so, that. So young, in fact, it was her mum that played it. Uh, um, <laughs> the other Margot. The other, the other Margot, yeah. The other DC Margot. And do you yeah. know what the other Margot is? Margot from The Good Life. Penelope Keith. Anyway. Oh, I didn't. Oh, that's I no, number four on my list. Let's hope I don't get anything wrong here. I mentioned she Seamus Weaver or something. Anyway, um Alien. You guys have you guys seen this movie? It's uh it was kind of popular in the late seventies. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I think I've heard I think it. I remember it. Yeah. Riding yeah. the riding the coattails of uh, some Star Wars yeah. fantasy space opera thing. Oh, yeah. uh, this is as far from sci fi as I think you could possibly get. It's a horror movie. Uh, oh. Through and through this, uh, and it, it everything's terrifying in it. The fact that like the guys just the guys just try to enjoy his meal, That's brilliant. and then the thing just bursts through, and you're like, oh my! Like when you first see that, you're like, oh my god, something just broke through him. You do not think that over the course of the movie that thing is going to grow from being like that size to being, I know, you know seven eight foot, foot tall. tall whatever is it? Yeah. Um, the whole thing with Dallas going through the corridor, the the the, the ducks, and it's like boom, 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 yeah. boom, 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 boom. Yeah, like, oh my but God. also when they, Dallas, they see when Dallas went through, second, he went through from one section to the next, and that hole just went. It looked yes. like it would chop uh -huh. your fingers off. Yeah, I was like, ah. yeah. I'll and then you, you find out well. one of the crews a robot. Brilliant. Yeah. What it a could have been also different. Could have been also different because um, the initial. Uh, production was going to be done by Roger Corman who mm. likes to do things on the cheap. Imagine how bad he that does. would have looked. Yeah. Another it's one. It's another it, perfect movie. Absolutely. Mm. 10 out of 10. And still, when you watch it today, holds up because there's no digital special effects. It's all practical. Uh, so All exists. hail yeah. Alien. All yeah. hail Alien. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Fantastic. We love the Xenomorph. Yeah. Um, that's what I love about it is the fact that the sets are all practical. You can like you push the button and, and like the, the doors open. It might be two set hands going like that, but it looks amazing when you when you push the button yeah, and the, the doors totally. creak have open. You, have uh, you played um, Alien Isolation? Not no. yet. That's brilliant as well. It's great. Not you yet. love it. <laughs> no. I can only play you, it in the Switch because it would freak me out if I played it in a, a big You love it. Oh, I love it. Do you not do you not play it in the dark in a big television set? Nope. Inches from your face. Nope. Not fine. I've seen you I've seen you playing Five Nights at Freddy's in the VR. <laughs> I know. I can't but handle it. On the channel. That's my limit. <laughs> yeah. uh, great movie. Great choice, by the way. 
Uh, well d- deserved to be within with, with all these uh, choices, yeah. definitely. Fantastic, right. fantastic. Having said that, though, my fifth choice uh, uh, controversial. Um, Megan, which is a PG thirteen, but apparently there's an R version of this kicking around somewhere. I think um, well, I've what I've seen the R version R rated. Oh, have you? <coughs> have you? Well, I uh, think I have. Yeah, I have it. I, I think seen, you just probably seen it. I think it was like a twelve or a fifteen here. I think it was. Um, it was a uh, maybe PG a thirteen here. I think. Yeah, but it was probably a fifteen. Uh, well, maybe or a okay, okay. That's right. um, Great fun, by the way. This film. It's a great it's a, fun. It's brilliant. It's another great another film. another inanimate object. Um, uh, come to, animated, come to life. Uh, is it a horror? Is it a thriller? Is it a comedy? Because they've got a comedian being the bad guy. The, yeah, the boss, he's a yeah. he's a he's a famous comedian in the states. Yeah. Um, so I mean, it's it's everything. I mean, it's a Blumhouse movie as well. So technically, you could argue horror because they're uh-huh. famous for horror. Uh-huh. Um, it does have uh, horror elements in it. There's bits in it that are really like the way that she moves is really creepy when she attacks the boy. Yeah, mm-hmm. who you know. Deserves it. He didn't deserve to go unpunished. <laughs> I mean, I would say he would deserve what happened to him, but he, he deserved to be, you know, uh, put in his place, shall yeah, we say? Yeah. Um, and then the bit where she does the kind of freaky dance and then chases oh, after yeah. the boss as well. That's that's kind of uh, scary as well. And then the whole thing with the neighbor and the dog. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Like all of that's classic horror tropes. So I mean, it, it feels it feels like a horror movie to me, anyway. No, absolutely. It's a, great, it's a great film. It's a great film. Mm-hmm. No doubt yep. about it. Yep. And there's a second one coming. Megan Two, The Electric Boogaloo. Yep. And by the way, all these Blumhouse, Blumhouse movies look <laughs> fantastic, and they're all made for Thrupton's Hapney. So yeah, I don't I know. know how they do it. I know. Um, they totally. make a profit in every single one Money of Money makers. Yeah. And Universal must be sitting there with going ka-ching um, every time Blumhouse comes out with a movie. So um it's them and not Fast and Furious. It's keeping up the keeping the coffers going at, at, at uh, Universal. So I know because do you know what half their budget's not been on actors. No, exactly. It's not a horror movie. Hundred <laughs> percent. It's half your budget is not going on the bloody actors. Yeah. yeah, you're right. You're right. That's true. Yeah. All right. So I, Megan, cracking film. Goods. Yeah. Good times. Good, stuff. Good times. Good stuff. Yeah, so there you go. That's our that's our fifteen choices for uh, for Halloween movies. I know we said five films, but there's three of us, so three times five is fifteen. Yeah. Um, if you have uh, any suggestions, uh, comment below. Um, we we do appreciate that. And if you like what you see, don't forget the old uh, like button, share. They're putting a mask on and giving me the fear now. And. Don't forget to, to hit the subscribe button notification bell when we put up timely reminders of when we put things up. And uh, we will catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Halloween. I don't think we've mentioned that at the start. Whoa. But uh, happy Halloween. Trick or treat, all that kind of stuff. And uh, we will catch you in the next episode, which will be Sundays. So, See you guys. Bye, guys. Cheers. Bye. Bye.